remiss if I didn't point out that uh, Connor Igo is from uh, my neck of the woods in uh, Central Ohio, a, a Worthington Kilbourne product. Great slides by the Michigan defense, really preventing uh, penetration by that Jacksonville offense. But there's the penetration. That's Igo with the shot and goal. Today we're going to take a look at the Jacksonville Dolphins execute what I like to call an umbrella dodge or an umbrella set, which is based out of a 1-4-1 offense. The first thing you should notice is one man behind, two men in the middle, then three men up top. Let's freeze it here. Here you can see why I call it an umbrella, although it looks more like an arrow now, but that's more because I just don't know how to make curved lines with my program. It will become more umbrella-ish in a moment. The play will be initiated with a wing dodge by the player here circled at the bottom of the screen. A defense should know out of a set like this, the primary dodgers could really only come from three places. From behind and from the two wings. If they try dodging up top, then he's going to have traffic who goes to the right or left unless those players clear out, which may be a play they have designed, but not in this one. As the player with the ball initiates his dodge, you'll see the off-ball players go in the directions as illustrated. The man at X will cut to the crease, the man in the low crease will go to X, the man in the high crease will fill up top, and then the two players up top who do not initially have the ball will shift over. As a defense, you should also notice that if a player is dodged from a high wing like this, chances are he's going to want to go under, as there's less traffic down there and there's more traffic if he tries to sweep up top. Michigan recognizes this and slides accordingly. Which brings us to the next evolution in this, which looks a little more like an umbrella. I just need to add a line here to make the point. There's my umbrella. As the slide came, you'll now notice there are two defenders on that initial dodger. This creates a three on two up top. If Jacksonville could swing the ball over fast enough to get to what I have labeled as number three circled here, then you will see that he has a clear path to the goal. The closest defenseman, as circled here in the bottom of the crease, would have to charge at him to stop his progress to the goal. This causes lunging, which we all know leaves every defenseman susceptible to a good face dodge, which happens there. I really like this dodge, as it follows the principle of getting the defense to slough over to one side, and then moving the ball to the opposite side as fast as possible to get a good dodge to the goal. Anyway, that's my take. Let me know what you think. If I didn't point out that uh, Connor Igo is from uh, my neck of the woods in uh, Central Ohio, a, a Worthington Kilbourne product. Great slides by the Michigan defense, really preventing uh, penetration by that Jacksonville offense. But there's the penetration. That's Igo with the shot and goal. Mr. Michigan, Cranbrook, Cranbrook, Kingswood High School. Great day for lacrosse out here. The Dolphins trying to work their way back into this one, trailing by two. That's a great feed up top. Nice nifty move and a shot to goal. That one scored.